happy video Friday. This is going to be short and sweet today. I have an update on my next release, which is coming out on May 2nd. And I have a couple covers to show you and that's it. Let's get to it. Okay, covers to show you. One has a new cover. Lake and Cage are just perfection on this. We even have the cat. It's beautiful. You can get the signed off of my website. You can also get it on Amazon. If you're going to be at Book Bonanza, which I hope you are, I hope I get to see a lot of you at Book Bonanza, you can get a special edition set of my Transcend series with these special edition covers only at Book Bonanza this year. I will have these on my website and possible other signings next year, but this year only at Book Bonanza. And you can only get them as a set and you have to pre-order them. I will not have them for sale at my table at Book Bonanza, so get your pre-order in before the end of April. We have Transcend and epic it's fuzzy <laughs> and fortuity so make sure you grab your book orders for that let's jump into my may 2nd release it's called i thought of you and i cannot wait for you guys to read this it is a very angsty heartbreaking story you know when you have those times where you're like i just need a good cry but i also want to feel good at the end but i just need a little bit of heartbreak and i think sometimes that we have emotions even when we feel down and we think i need happiness and we usually do we need some laughter sometimes what we need first is this good cry well i'm going to give you this good cry and i'm going to give you some definite humor in this and it is a romance so i'm going to give you a happily ever after julianne style so i'll let you interpret what that is Eventually, someday, I might formula right so you'll know what to expect from me. It'll probably be brilliant for me. I'll be able to market myself better. But right now, I'm still using writing as my own form of therapy. That's why my books are all over the place. But I'm giving you this heartbreaking book only to give you for the rest of 2024 crowd pleasers like the Fisherman series is a crowd pleaser. Look the part is a crowd pleaser. I'm gonna give you crowd pleasers the rest of the year, but right now I'm gonna give you a story that's like for Lucy, that was like before us. For those of you who like The Blind Side by Kim, or The Blind Side, The Bright Side by Kim Holden, you should like this. For those who liked Colleen's Hoover, It Ends With Us. This is not a story that I'm giving you that has domestic abuse in it, but as far as the feeling of having this female character and these two different male characters, but yet it's not really a love triangle, but there's a really deep subject matter, that's the feel of this book. So we have Price Malloy. He is one of the main characters and he's done very well for himself. He's in his 30s and he gets this grim prognosis and it changes him on every level. So he leaves a note, packs up and looks for his first love, Scotty Rucker. Scotty Rucker is this free spirit. She lives in the moment. She doesn't have big dreams. She doesn't plan for the future. She doesn't care about tangible things so much. And she just radiates positivity. And that's why he goes to look for her. She's in Austin, Texas. She works at a general store, one of the old kinds that has like the old fashioned fountains and they make the Sundays and they have tall shelves where there's like the uh, ladders that go back and forth to get things off the top shelf. She lives in an Airstream trailer behind this store and she just radiates this positivity and life and light. And there's also a character named Cohen Sykes and he has a dog named Scroat, which we love the dog and there's lots of funny parts with Scroat in this story. And so it's going to have at times this love triangle feel to it, but it's not a true love triangle. But there's so many emotions. I love the connections and the relationships, not just between quote two main characters, but really between all the characters that come into the story by the end of the story. You get to know these characters on a very deep level. And this isn't even a super long story. This is about the length of um, for, uh, for Lucy. So in terms of my stories, a little bit shorter stories, but it's just, it packs a lot of emotional punch to it. And I had a rough 2023, so I put all of my emotions into the story. Again, I use my writing as therapy, and I was able to let go of these emotions and just felt so much better after having written the story, even though I cried a lot while writing this story. Um, and I had very, a lot of moments where I felt like I was reconnecting with who I should be as a person and what matters in my own life and what should matter in my own life because we get distracted by all this other stuff and we really forget what matters in life. And I hope that some of you will reading it, even if you have moments that you might cry and you get that emotional cleansing. I hope you can also have moments where you stop 
and reevaluate your life and what matters in your life and maybe taking care of yourself. And so there's like, there's this sadness to the story and there's this heaviness to the story, but I do believe there's also a lot of love and big heart in this story. And there's also a lot of hope. And it comes out on May 2nd. I'll have a pre-order up sometime later in April. I hope you guys pick this up and give it a shot. I promise for the rest of 2024, crowd pleasers, I'm going to give you crowd pleasers. That's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and we'll talk again next month. Bye guys.